we present primary mathematics for standard 6 pupils. In this program, we learn how to convert fractions and decimals to percentages. In the studio is the radio teacher and two standard 6 pupils. Welcome to the program. Hello standard 6 pupils. In today's program, we learn how to convert fractions and decimals to percentages. In the studio, to help us with the lesson, are two standard 6 pupils, Helen and Salim. Helen and Salim, say hello to standard 6 pupils. Hello, hello standard, standard 6, six pupils. pupils. In standard 5, we learned how to convert fractions to decimals and decimals to fractions. Helen, remind us how we convert fractions to decimals. When we have a fraction like two-fifths and want to convert it to a decimal, we use long division. Two-fifths as a decimal is 0 0.4. Good, Helen. To convert fractions to decimals, we use long division. When we have improper fractions, there will be the whole and the decimal fraction part. The mixed number 1 and 5 eighths is 13 eighths as an improper fraction. When 13 eighths is converted to a decimal, you get 1.625. Salim, how do we convert the decimal 0 0.625? into a fraction. To convert the decimal 0 0.625 to a fraction, we take the total value of all the digits and then add the fractions. In 0 0.625, the place value for digit 6 is 6 tenths, for digit 2 is 2 hundredths, and for 5 is 5 thousandths. 6 over 10 plus 2 over 100 plus 5 over 1,000 is equal to 625 over 1,000. This simplifies to 5 over 8. Very good, Salim. In 0 0.625, the digit 6 is 6 tenths. The digit 2 is 2 hundredths. And the digit 5 is 5 Thousands. Adding the fractions six tenths plus two hundredths plus five thousandths, we get the fraction six hundred and twenty five thousandths. This, when simplified, gives five eighths as a fraction. We also learned how to convert fractions to equivalent fractions. Helen, how do we write the fraction three-fifths as an equivalent fraction with 100 as the denominator? To write the fraction three-fifths as an equivalent fraction with 100 as the denominator, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 20 to get 60 hundredths. Good, Helen. To get the equivalent fraction, three-fifths with 100 as the denominator, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by 20 to get 60 hundredths. Class, how do you get the equivalent fraction for three quarters with the denominator as 100? Salim, how do you work out the equivalent fraction for three quarters with the denominator as 100? To work out the equivalent fraction with the denominator as 100, 
we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 25. 3 quarters by 25 is 75 hundredths. Very good, Salim. The equivalent fraction of the fraction 3 quarters is 75 hundredths. To work out the equivalent fraction of 3 quarters with 100 as the denominator, we multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 25. This gives the equivalent fraction as 75 hundredths. Helen, how do we convert 2 ninths to an equivalent fraction? To convert 2 ninths into an equivalent fraction, we multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number. If we multiply the fraction 2 ninths by 2 divided by 2, we get 4 eighteenths. Good, Helen. The fraction 2 ninths can be multiplied by 2 halves to get 4 eighteenths. This means we have 2 ninths as equal to 4 eighteenths as part of a whole with 18 eighteenths. This is a proportion of the whole. In everyday life, we divide a whole into proportions of 100, which we call a percentage. To write fractions or proportions of 100 as a whole, we multiply the fraction by 100 divided by 100. To avoid cancelling the numerator 100, by the denominator 100, we use a symbol for percentage to represent the denominator 100. Teacher, write 87% on the chalkboard. Salim, what is the fraction 3 over 20 as a percentage? The fraction 3 over 20 as a percentage is 15%. Very good, Salim. The fraction 3 over 20 as a percentage is 15%. We multiply the fraction 3 over 20 by 100%. Dividing the numerator 100 by 20, you get 5. 5 Multiplied by the numerator 3, you get 15. The percentage sign, which represented the denominator 100, is then written next to 15, so that we read it as 15%. We can therefore work out any fraction. Helen, Mark spends three-tenths of his income on food. What percentage of his income does he spend on food? Mark spends three-tenths multiplied by 100%. This will simplify to 30%. Good, Helen. Mark spends three-tenths multiplied by 100%. We divide the numerator 100 by the denominator 10 to get 10. 10 multiplied by the numerator 3, we get 30. We then write the percentage symbol next to 30 to have 30%. Class, in a chamber, a farmer used 19 25ths of his land for grazing. What is this proportion of the chamber as a percentage? Give the answer. To your teacher. Salim, what is 19 over 25 of land used for grazing by the farmer as a percentage? We multiply 19 over 25 by 
to get 76%. Very good, Salim. 19 over 25 of the shamba used by the farmer for grazing is 76%. We multiply 19 over 25 by 100%. Class, let us now learn how to convert a decimal into a percentage. To write 0 0.5 as a percentage, first you should write 0 0.5 as a fraction, then multiply it by 100%. That is, 0 0.5 is equal to 5 over 10, because the place value of 5 is tenths. Then, multiply 5 over 10 by 100% to get 50%. Class, convert 0 0.4 into a percentage. Give the answer to your teacher. Helen, what is 0 0.4 as a percentage? 0 0.4 as a percentage is 40%. Good, Helen. Class, did you get 40%? Good. To work out 0 0.4 as a percentage, write 0 0.4 as a fraction, that is, 4 over 10, then multiply by 100%. This will give you 40%. Class, we can also convert two or more decimal places as percentages. To convert 0 0.37 into a percentage, you write 0 0.37 as a fraction that is 37 over 100, then multiply it by 100%. That is 37 over 100 multiplied by 100%, which gives us 37%. Class, convert 0 0.72 into a percentage. Give the answer to your teacher. Salim, what is 0 0.72 as a percentage? 0 0.72 converted into a percentage is 72%. Good, Salim. Class, did you get 72% as your answer? Good. To convert 0 0.72 into a percentage, you need to change 0 0.72 into a fraction. That is, 72 over 100, then multiply it by 100%. That is, 72 over 100 multiplied by 100%, which gives us 72%. Class, do the following questions and discuss your answers with your teacher after the program. 1. Express the following as percentages. A. 9 over 100. B. 27 over 100. 2. Write down the missing numbers. A. 3 fifths is equal to dash over a hundred. B four over seven 
is equal to a dash over a hundred. Three, convert 0 0.76 into a percentage. And that brings us to the end of the program. We present Primary Mathematics for Standard 6 Pupils. In this program, we learn how to convert fractions and decimals to percentages. In the studio is the radio teacher and two Standard 6 pupils. Welcome to the program. Hello, Standard 6 pupils. In today's program, we learn 